Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday, April 29th. If you are watching this on the Wednesday that it comes up, my shout outs today are Annabelle and Chloe. Those two girls have spent a big amount of time on Raz Kids working on their online reading. So, way to go, girls. If it is not your day for a shout out, keep doing your online work, and your name is sure to pop up on my end. I hope you were able to be successful in completing your work from Monday over Monday and Tuesday, and you were able to start to notice some characters in your books. Raz Kids and Epic have excellent books with characters. I know some of them have Fancy Nancy as well as Henry and Mudge. I know that those are very popular books among our friends, so maybe you were able to check out some of those. Today, you are going to be doing some reading as well as math. We have a video from Mrs. Davidson working on place value and comparing and contrasting numbers. For writing, you're going to have your writing prompt options. And for foundations, we're going to continue our work in blends. Today, you're going to have an activity in foundations that you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil for. So it is a sorting activity. And your piece of paper, if it's blank, it will look like this. You can either draw a line down the middle or you can fold it in half so you have a crease on it. This is what your paper should look like, either the crease that you can see or the line down the middle. And today for foundations, you are given a list of words at the bottom of a page and you need to decide, does the word have a blend or does the word have a digraph? So one side of your paper will have blends, one side of your paper will have digraphs, and once you've written them all, you are going to mark the words. That is something that your families can send to me as um, your activity that you send to your teacher for the week. But if you don't send it to me, just have someone at home check it for you to make sure that all of your words are sorted in the correct place. And that is our plan for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will actually see some of you on Friday for our Zoom meeting. Don't forget 10 o'clock if you would like to come. I hope to see you then.